Hello everyone. Welcome back to another episode of 3 PSM Images in 3 Minutes. I'm Dr. Neha. Before we begin, just a little heads up. On 14th of July, we've started a focus FMG batch on an academy platform. You can learn from your wonderful educators and you can also use my code PSM Live and get a 10% off on your uh, subscription. So let's see the first image. What is this? Very correct. This is the image of IDSP, Integrated Disease Surveillance Program. So this comes a lot of times in our examinations, Integrated Disease Surveillance Program. Now under this, I'm going to tell you some of the questions that are asked. You are asked, what are the reporting mechanisms under IDSP? So there are three reporting formats. S is filled by suspected cases. Um, I'm sorry, S is filled for suspected cases. The form is filled by the health workers, the paramedical workers. P is presumptive cases or you could say for probable cases. The data is generated by clinicians or medical officers. And L is what the lab confirmed case. The data here is generated by the clinical laboratory staff. Plus, you could also be asked, what are the diseases that are under regular surveillance or that are under routine surveillance? So, the diseases that are under routine surveillance are vector-borne disease, waterborne, respiratory diseases, vaccine-preventable diseases, diseases targeted for eradication like polio, road traffic accidents, diseases which involve international comm commitment, and also unusual syndromes. So they are routinely under the surveillance. But there are certain diseases which are under sentinel surveillance, which includes STDs, HIVs, HBV, HCV, water quality, outdoor air quality, and most important for NCDs, we have a type of surveillance called as regular periodic surveys for which we do all these measurements, um, anthropometry and also biochemical measurements are done. So that was the logo of IDSP. Now what is this? I'm sure all of you know this. This is national program for, this is the logo for national program for prevention of blindness and Prevention and control of blindness and visual impairment. Now, why have I brought this logo? Because there has been a change in the definition of blindness according to our program. What is the definition of blindness now? It is vision less than 3 by 60 in better eye with not best possible correction but with available correction. Okay, so that is the definition of blindness, which we can see in this national program for prevention and control of blindness and visual impairment. So this is very, very important. Now, what is this? This identified this syringe is a tuberculin insulin. So over here, you can see the markings 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4. So when the markings are in 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, this becomes a tuberculin syringe. But if you look over here, the markings are in terms of units. This one is an insulin syringe. And over here, this one is a tuberculin syringe where the markings are in ml all right so that's how you can differentiate and one more question that they ask you can you exchange tuberculin syringe and insulin syringe no no interchangeability is allowed interchangeability is not allowed okay so this is the difference between tuberculin and insulin syringe you can look at from the markings also it's written here tb and insulin syringe are not interchangeable tb syringe is used to drop a specific liquid volume which is measured in terms of ml insulin syringe can be only used for insulin it's measured in units so these were the three images for the day i hope you like the session thank you so much